If you're like me and you're building an overland full-size truck, you've got a big cab in your vehicle. This is a Toyota Tundra Crew Max. I quickly found out that I was running out of space and I come up with something I uh, found through a many a uh, search on the internet. Stick around, let's get into it. I'll show you what it is. In my deep internet search for all things overlanding and trying to find solutions, I found a guy out of Florida who runs a company called OG Fabrication. But what he does is he makes metal objects and one of the products that he makes is a molly panel that mounts to the top of the roof of the Toyota Tundra. I think he makes them for other vehicles too. What it looks like, you know, obviously is a molly panel, but it seems kind of flimsy. But the power of this particular product is in its design. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but he customized it for me. Didn't even ask him to do that. Such a nice guy. It was really cool of him. And I'll put his uh, link down in the bottom. But the design is when it mounts up against the top of the ceiling, you bend these tabs on both sides. And these tabs then create a rigidity to it that can hold a nice amount of weight. And then these end flaps fold up, or I'm sorry, they fold down to curve the side of the roof of the vehicle. And then these go into the handles and then you'll be able to attach different things to this. I plan on attaching things like medical kits and flashlights and things like that. Things that I need to readily be able to reach into the vehicle and grab and go. Alrighty, the simple tools you're gonna to need to do this job is a pair of pliers. I'm gonna use vice grips to bend the tabs up a screwdriver to screw in some of the bolts and screws that come with it, as well as a socket set to uh, manipulate some of the uh, bolts and everything in place and then tighten everything down. Let's get into prepping the vehicle for the install. Okay, so this is the handle. You gotta take it off. To get it off, you have to take these tabs off and then there's a metal piece in there that holds this all in place. So to get these off, you should be able to just grab them with a pair of pliers that out it surely just clips in. Now on the inside there's two little metal tabs there. You just take a pair of pliers or needle nose pliers, pinch them together and pull them out and this whole thing should come down. A little uh, T-bolt here that goes in the hole and turn sideways and that's what holds the rack in place. Now that the brackets are prepped and ready, we're gonna do the same to the other side and then we're going to hang the rack. Step number one is I'm going to take and I'm gonna bend these edges here because these are the flaps. Basically everything's going to bend up from here and these are gonna go against the outer walls by the windows. And then I'm gonna flip it over and bend these tabs in at about a 45 degree angle. So that'll give its rigidity. So we can go ahead and bend these by hand here. All right, now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna take a pair of pliers and we're gonna bend these side edges. I'm gonna put a little towel in between it so I don't tear up the metal. You notice I'm just gonna do a little bit going down the edges at a time to achieve a 45 degree angle. Now he used to send these pre-bent, but uh, the way he explained it is that uh, UPS tends to damage the hell out of them, so he just started sending them flat where they're flexible and then you can bend it. Now there are little tabs where it's, the metal is uh, not creased. That's where it's best to bend it at so you're not kind of creasing the metal. So this, as you can see now, is rigid and it'll be able to fit up there quite nicely. And I don't know if you can see it, but when it's hanging, you'll be able to see Overland Trails on each side. It's usually it just says Tundra or over, you know, whatever, you know, just a, whatever model of truck that you have. Now, if you watch OG Fabrications video, you'll notice tabs here and here are already pre-built in. This newer model has the tabs separately, so it's easier to manage. So I'm gonna bolt these tabs on here with the provided hardware. 
What this also allows you to do is adjust the tabs uh, in or out. So you can see it's fully flexible to fit whatever size uh, rig that you're running. I'm gonna pull these tabs all the way out to begin and we'll see how that works on the install. Set a little bit of light as best we can. It's almost easier to put the bolts into the, the uh, plate first and then hang it up here. And what I found is just now is these tabs are probably gonna have to bend down at an angle to fit more into the hole of where the uh, handles were. So I'm gonna grab a pair of pliers and bend those and uh, see if I can't custom fit it just a little bit better. Man, the things we do in the name of overlanding. <clears throat> All righty, now I'm going to tighten up the bolts and I'm going to basically sink it in place. It should bend and kind of form to the roof. Now you can come back with some uh, paracord handles to bolt in here. Um, you can probably use the ones, same ones used for a Jeep. You can also put something behind here to make the letters pop out, maybe like a white sheet or a light or something. The importance is it's strong. It will be able to hold some gear and it'll give me a little bit more flexibility. I wanna thank OG Fabrication for uh, making such an awesome panel and doing the customization on it. Didn't even ask him, told him what I was doing with the YouTube channel and stuff and overlanding and he just threw it on there. Such a nice guy. So if you wanna see any more videos like this or any other instructionals or something like that, let me know in the comments. Go ahead and like and subscribe so you can catch the next content coming out. Got a lot more coming up with gear and a trip plan. Thanks for watching. See you down the trails.